knowledge. We're going to go to Florida first, and we are going to my good friend, uh, Randy Ostro. David and Scott, thank you. I don't have a question. I'm just, I want to say thank you to David. I've been following you. I saw your story 18 months ago. You and I have had the pleasure of talking a bit, and you've changed my life. You taught me the practice of daily gratitude. And since you challenged me, I say thank you every day, multiple times a day, and I think of you. And you taught me to be more interested than interesting. And anybody that's on this call with us today, this guy who you're listening to, and to have him with Scott, I, I'm almost like shaking sitting here because these are two of the best people in the world. And I just wanted to say thank you, David. You are, you've changed my life. I quote you to my family and my friends and my clients every week. And I, I, I really just wanted to say thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you. I, I will uh, tell you one other lesson is coherence, by the way. So saying thank you, I, I love when people that have extraordinary success like Randy tell me, oh, well, Dave taught me to say thank you. Because I laugh. I'm like, you know, my grandma taught me when I was three. Uh, but what I really taught Randy was coherence, um, which is different. Because saying thank you takes 0.1 seconds. It's free, guaranteed to change your life. As Scott mentioned, I've surrounded myself with the world thought leaders. I've written books with Jack Canfield, Bob Proctor. I am surrounded with Deepak and Sad Guru and these unbelievable thought leaders. Everybody agrees. Thank you changes your life. It's free. 1.1 seconds. Physics, quantum physics, metaphysics I've studied. But what they don't teach you about gratitude is you need coherence. And that's why my daily practices are so important. What is coherence? It's remembering to say thank you and saying it. And if you can remember what you want, who you can inspire, who can inspire you and how to get it done, learn to prioritize by what's important with the what, the who, and the how, you will apply your why. But coherence is the antithesis of what our ego wants us to do, right? Because if we're capable of prioritizing gratitude, well, then priority being the antidote to be feeling overwhelmed and procrastination, we're actually going to get stuff done. 100% of the things you do now get done. 100% of the times you say thank you, it's done. So what I want people to think about from Randy's comments of gratitude is simply he's learned coherence. He's in all aspects of his life, remembering the what, the who, and the how, knowing his now and applying his why every single day by remembering what he wants and doing it.